Welcome to TomGrandy.com. Today we're going to be building a winter survival shelter. I'm glad to have you along for the ride. See what we can learn. As you can see, it was snows a little deep today. We packed in and did bring our bow saw. Looking for a nice level spot that might work out. I'm thinking this is probably about as good as any other. Definitely looking at about a foot of of snow. That'll come in handy. Mitchell here, he's taking a different approach. He's going to build a snow shelter that actually digs into the, the depth and has a, a nice little hump around it and then put branches and stuff across it with a tarp so he can use that as his shelter. See, one of the essentials of any good backpack uh, in addition to some duct tape, would be some good cord, good parachute cord. So we'll be able to take this over to here. We're going to lash this baby together so it doesn't fall apart. Now we can start building our cover. How you doing, Mitchell? Good. Good. Starting to put the top across, gathering some wood. He'll use as the, the cover across the top here. The idea here is that you go to sleep, you pull this up, and then when you come out, you just pick it up. Pick it up. And put snow and stuff on top of the camouflage and insulate it. Holy crap! Put your face in there. Alright, one of the things you want to remember when you're out on a winter camp is to make sure you drink lots of water. You know, we brought our own water and so far nothing's frozen on us. Eventually it'll freeze solid, but by, by then we'll have a good campfire going and we can melt some of the snow and we'll have all the water we can possibly need. gateway to keep it compact, to keep food compact, and I'm pretty good. Okay, so I've cleaned out the bottom of my shelter, piled up some of the snow on the sides, so now I'm ready to Get a tarp on it and move in. See what it looks like. So there you go. There's the inside. All covered up with the tarp. Dug out. And then starting to cover it up with the snow. Well, as far as design goes, we got it covered up with snow. So problem is you may not see it. If you're looking to get rescued. Alrighty, next thing we want to start thinking about doing is getting a fire started. Go around gathering up some kindling, some large pieces of logs, use our bow saw, but we want to avoid this green stuff. It doesn't burn. We get a nice hot fire going. In this case, we're going to try and get the fire started with some steel wool and a battery. Basically, going to rub the battery up against the steel wool, get it fired up, get our kindling going. Loosen it up a little bit.
I'm gonna try again. Okay, the next thing we want to do is get some fire started. Let's see, got it going. Steel wool, but nine volt battery, and a little bit of help from a couple pieces of paper. But it's going, we'll get it going better here in a second. Got our fire going. Back over to our shelter. Pretty well hidden here. Let's see if we can get some shots inside before it gets too dark on. There you go. Not too bad. You want to make sure that you. Put your sleeping bag in, put a mat down first. If I had some evergreens, I'd definitely throw those down. But no evergreen around here for a mat off the snow. And it's actually pretty toasty in here. All things considered. Uh, let's see. What I might want to do is oh yeah it's real it's real nice in here it's time to get my sleeping bag out and unroll it and possibly get some supper going all right well I'd say the good thing about this design is you're really there's not gonna be any wind blowing through walls, they're, they're packed solid with snow. You got all this, it's all packed in on the inside and the outside, so nothing's going to happen there. The doorway, that would be problematic. Have to, Mitchell got a board in front of his, I might have to come up with a better solution, otherwise that's going to be flopping all night. Don't want that. I want that thing to be solid. I saw once a garbage bag filled with snow for the opening. But I could be very comfy in here. No doubt. Okay, last look at our makeshift shelters here. Let's see inside Mitchell's. Opening down there. I want to put. Great, great. I love the, the door here. I want to put some more snow on top for insulation. Same goes for me. Here's mine. One side's really well insulated. This side. The other side not so much. We got our we get our packs undone. I'm trying to warm up my gloves here. It's a little icy. A nice fire going. Just like a real camping. Only difference is it's right out our back door.